Okay, Jeff Smith back here in the golf studio at Otter Creek. Want to talk to you a little bit right now about what everybody wants. More power. They want more distance. Everybody wants to hit it farther. I want to hit it farther. You want to hit it farther. There's no question about it. We all think that we're all uh, going to be the longest drivers that are possibly ever, that has ever walked the face of the earth. Well, I'll tell you what. The biggest thing about it is that people, when they try to get more distance, is they grip really hard and then they try to swing really fast. And really that's one of the things that are really detrimental to the average player in trying to gain more distance. Because one of the things you have to have for your, your best distance possible is soft hands because your hands need to be able to swing back, hinge the club up, make a big turn, have to be soft through here, have to be soft in your hands because when you come back down and you want to unload on it, well what's going to have to happen is your hands have to be moving quickly. As fast as they can possibly get that club down through there, that's where your club head speed comes. So those of you with tight hands, you're killing your distance. Those of you with soft hands, you now have a chance to maximize what it is you can deliver to the golf ball. Next thing about distance is to make sure that you are maximizing the force that you're applying to the golf ball by making sure you have your right hand on the back side of the shaft so that in this knuckle and forefinger area right there is on the, the back side of the shaft applying all that pressure down the back of the shaft through the head to the golf ball as best you can. So that way you get to come into it and you're looking like this at impact and there's a lot of pressure. If you take a look at the angle of my right arm going into the back side of that shaft, you're really going to be able to smash the ball if that's the position of your arm. So remember, your hands have to be soft, your right hand has to be in that position to be pushing on the side of the shaft. Now you'll have some power through the golf ball. Now, the biggest thing that I see people do is when they swing and they're trying to swing too hard, they're going to wind up swinging across the ball. Well, then they're going to hit it off the center of the club face and that's where an awful lot of mistakes are made too. Ball spin right, ball spin left, the club face is not being delivered center of contact through the center of the ball, so you're going to lose some. So if you really want to smack it, make sure that you're lined up right through the center of the club, through the center of the golf ball, and that you're firing that thing as hard and fast as you can down at the ball, but not out into here, down at the golf ball. So I'm going to step back and I'm going to look at one and I'm going to see if I can get a hold of a, of a decent tee shot right here. Well, turned out to be a pretty straight shot. I'm always happy about those. Looks like that would have been in the fairway and I'm pretty, dis pretty solid uh, with the distance on that. I'm happy about how far it went. So I look at that and it, it's another good tee shot. I'm always happy when it's in play. I felt like I got it close to the center of the face. So I know that I got a pretty good shot out of that. So if you really want more distance, think center of the face, think right hand on the back side of the shaft, and, and think soft hands so they can fly through there. That's plain and simple golf. Play better, hit it better, no confusion.